I'm so worried about the court case today. What if something goes wrong? Rosie, it won't. There's no way that Linda and Lydia will get away with what they have done. All we have to do is give statements. The judge will then give the sentencing. I suppose so. I'm so glad I have you here to hold me together. Right back at you. Come on. Let's go to the courts. Welcome to the case. Let's get this sorted out. My name is Miss Green. Let's begin. First to the stand. Linda. Yes, Miss Green. So tell the jury what your side of the story is. I adopted Rosie's twin, Lizzie. From birth. Rosie's mother Vicky conned everyone and was involved in benefit fraud plus faking her own death. I tried to get closer to Rosie because her mother was a low-lying cow. But she was rude to me and she was horrible to Lizzie too. In fact, she hated Lizzie and was probably jealous that Lizzie had a better upbringing than her. Rosie got a job at my surgery and she locked Elisha in the basement. She went on Crush Peninsula and pretended that nothing happened. In the meantime, I tried to get her back by sending her plane tickets so that we could discuss what's happened and why she was so underhanded. But why wouldn't you report it to the police? Well, I, if someone is locked against their own will in a basement, surely you should report it to the police. Carry on and explain. I wanted to hear her out on why she was so horrible. Anyway, she sent Lizzie a parcel while on Crush Peninsula. It was supposedly some foreign sugar but it was drugs. Lizzie put this sugar in her tea and she died. Rosie faked her own death and funeral and had Lizzie in her coffin. Because she hated her. And then she had the audacity to blame it on me. I mean how sick is that? So when she returned I then phoned the police and got her sent to prison. Thank you very much Linda. Next to the stand. Rosie. Miss Green. You have to believe me. What Linda said is all lies. I had no idea any of this was going on while I was on Crush Peninsula or before that. She was muzzling in where she wasn't wanted, stalking me, being intrusive, broke into my property multiple times without telling me. She killed Lizzie with Lydia to get at me. So I would return home and they had control over me in their prison. Thank you, Rosie. Next up. Lydia. Miss Green. I came to town when Rosie left. My mother was so distraught that Rosie abandoned her. She didn't deserve any of it. Rosie has no consideration for anyone else's feelings. I was super nice to Rosie and just like she is with Linda and Lizzie. She threw all this hate at me. Being here is totally unnecessary. Send her back to prison where she belongs. Bit vague. Okay next up we have Scott on the podium. Okay so what's happened to you Scott? I was brought here by Linda from South Africa just before she met Rosie. I was locked in her prison. She brought some of my old friends over from there and her diary stated that she experimented plastic surgery on them. When Mr. Drake came to inspect the prison, she put me in padded cells. They were going to send me off for human testing for plastic surgery. That's also in the diary. Rosie, Vic and I plotted but when we were discovered Vicky was murdered and they blamed it on Rosie. Thank you Scott. Okay everyone, as Elisha was only locked up we don't need her up. She gave us her statement and there was nothing to support it in evidence. We will decide on a sentence if there is one. How could you be so cruel and obnoxious? You cow. You bitch. You lied through your teeth. You're going down and you better be ready. We've lost. I just know we have. She's weaved out of trouble. Again. And I'm going to go down. Hey hey hey. Don't be like that. 